Monday, three o'clock, People's Court. <laughs> three thirty, Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> Four o'clock, my time. Hi, Mom. Where's Dad? Oh, he went to get a haircut. He didn't need a haircut. I know. But that's where he and his friends like to sit around and talk about all they could have been in life. <laughs> so it shouldn't be long. Why? Well, he promised to give me another driving lesson today. Unless you'd like to do it. Please. Well, what's wrong with your father? He won't let me adjust the seat. He keeps his foot poised over the brake, and he yells out, red light! Stop! 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 When it's still three blocks away. I just know that my roots are coming in gray. And you know what the most irritating thing of all is? The way he spits out the window. No. It's instead of listening to real music, he cranks up the oldie station. Well, don't worry about it, honey. Tomorrow, you'll pass your driving test and have your very own license. Daddy's home. I'll go get my jacket and my earplugs. Peg, sell the house. Why, Al? Did you see a shirt somewhere you'd like? Yes, it said, congratulate me, wife's dead. <laughs> Down the barber shop, I got a tip on a horse. It's fate, Peg. His name is Dr. Footwear. Get it? Doctor Footwear. I sell shoes. <laughs> Anyhow, he's running this Sunday at Arlington. But the great part is, he's never won a race! Al, does this story have a point, or does it just sort of go on endlessly like our marriage? <laughs> <laughs> ah, gee, Peg, when you act like this, I just want to throw you on the floor and make love to you. <laughs> Either that or just throw you on the floor. <laughs> Let's get back to the horse. They're holding him back to run up the odds, which this Sunday will be a minimum of 20 to one. This is our chance to, to really make it big. I gotta get some money to bet. Is, is there anything that we have that we don't use anymore we can sell? Yes, but who'd wanna buy your toothbrush? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're such a big help, Peg. It's like that old saying, behind every empty shell of a man is one of your relatives. You ready to take me driving, Daddy? What, what is the big rush about getting a license? I mean, do you think that driving a car is glamorous? Well, it's not as glamorous as hitching with purvos, but um, I still want to drive. Well, what about the bus? Yeah, that's great, Dad. Crammed together with a bunch of sweaty strangers who don't speak any English, except for, hey, Blondie, look at this. Uh. <laughs> Daddy just doesn't want to pay the insurance, dear. Oh, no, that's my pleasure, Peg. Even though my rates will skyrocket because you're underage, and I'm paying a special rate for the bumper car queen over here. Well, I know why you don't want me to drive. And it's not the insurance. Your little girl's growing up and you can't bear to let her go, huh? <laughs> no, it's the insurance. Take her out, Al. Yeah, take her out. Buy her clothes, she needs books. Get her some medicine. When will it all end? Yeah, sure, sure, I get one day off a week, and what do I wind up doing? Spending it with my family. Oh, God. 